big bowl of crunchy vegetables and a spoonful of sauerkraut topped with the best, hippiest sauce around. I am not a nutritionist, but I do know that eating a rainbow is a good thing and throw in a little fermented food like sauerkraut and your body will be so grateful. So just follow color and health will be close behind. I like to say, you know, healthy by accident. So I'm gonna make this kind of deconstructed coleslaw with dragon sauce. Start by building the sauce. I have some coconut oil, you could use any fat that you like. And next up is nutritional yeast, which is this kind of funny, flaky, it does fall into the fish food looking category, but I'm telling you, it is an incredible flavor bomb. It is fantastic in this sauce and takes it to a whole other level. So in it goes. Tamari often has less gluten in it, but read your labels. I'm gonna put a garlic clove in. Just skin off. And I don't trust this food processor to completely break it down. So help it along a bit. This is where a high powered blender would come in handy if you have one. And some tahini, which is sesame paste. Tahini is one of the main ingredients in hummus. And some lovely maple syrup. One of my very favorite things in the world. Okay, let's blitz this all together. Just have a little taste several times around. Oh, it's so good. It's just one of those things to have in your fridge. So if you have any kind of salad ingredient or noodles, just toss it in and it's an instant meal. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, moving right along. Half a purple cabbage goes a long way. So let's start with purple as the R of the rainbow. Cutting out this tough core is critical. Not so tasty. Okay. So going through, we'll produce beautiful little shards. And the thinner your slices, sort of the finer your salad. Just look how far a quarter of a cabbage goes. And I like to choose a white bowl because it really highlights the color. The contrast is amazing. Apple. Taking off the cheeks, we say. I am going to slice it in these nice, pretty little half moons. I'm gonna go through this whole apple. So, fan or pile your apple slices, your little touch of green. And I love making ribbons with my carrots. You could easily grate it, use your mandolin, use your knife, but if you have this kind of peeler, this horizontal peeler, you can make some nice, beautiful ribbons. You can get as many wide ribbons as possible. This is the effect we're going for here. And it is the orange in our rainbow. Pick up the carrots and pile them in. And I have some delicious sauerkraut from Tang Cook Island in Nova Scotia, and it is such a yummy, tangy, crunchy way to, uh, to enjoy a salad. So I'm gonna add it to the rainbow. It just adds a whole other dimension. Okay. Okay, I am gonna take my massive bowl that is for a crowd, I promise. It's deconstructed at this stage, but when you serve it, just toss it all together. That's the idea. But for now, it just, it looks so pretty like this. I'm gonna crown this with the dragon sauce. Put, pour this into a jar and use the rest later. And I'll just pour directly from your food processor. 
and finish with some pumpkin seeds and some sunflower seeds. You know, you can really finish with anything at this stage. I have some really pretty microgreens here. There's pea and red cabbage and clover. Tangle those over the top. And there you have a lovely raw fermented dragon inspired composed kind of coleslaw like salad. Twist it all together, toss away, pretend it's pasta, use a spoon if you need one. Mm. Eat the rainbow, taste the goodness, healthy by accident. Go with your gut and follow a rainbow. And before you know it, you'll be calling nutritional yeast Nooch, just like the kids in LA.